Hello, everybody. Black Metal here. Um, record this earlier, but I really didn't like it. This is Free Radical Fandom Wiki. Shows all the different stuff and everything of the different games. Battlefront 4. And this is interesting. Battlefront, the first one. Apparently, there's a lot of cut content in the first Battlefront, which I kind of find. It's still awesome. I mean, I still like playing it a little bit, but, you know, a, lo a big document. Um, I don't know what was really cut from it, but, you know, I mean, it doesn't really say, oh, well, this it's cut. It's cut. You know, um, I mean, oh, so this is from 2000, good year, I don't know what I was playing back then, actually don't remember, so that's pretty much the document, I'm saving that later, but, you know, that's pretty much what I'm here for, though. Um, as you can see here, this is what uh, I guess it I guess it looked like or pandemic battlefront. I guess this is what it was that was the story behind it, why they wanted to do that. Um Oh, phaser, okay. We wanted to create that. So Basically, you have everything here. Uh, you have um, all that stuff. But I believe that if Battlefront 3 was created, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, um, you know, we wouldn't get into that Battle Royale. I mean, I think Battle Royale would have happened, but I just think that, you know, it would be very complete. And I think that, you know, the way this series has been going, because I've played most of the games, I've played every single Battlefront game. So it's kind of um, good. So here you are. Oh, so here's your game modes. Jedi Arena. Apparently it was coming out for the Wii. I had no idea. I thought it only went out for PS3, PC, and uh, PS, I mean, Xbox 360. I'm pretty sure if, you know, this game would probably be ported. And, I mean, obviously, you know, you know, could be able to have like a trilogy and everything of all these games, but you know, of course, we got the crappy EA game that you know, heroes are fun, but it's not the same. Look, I was looking at this earlier and it's crazy. I mean, look at this stuff Tank Buster, you know, I love destroying tanks, R2 versus the Bud Droids. I mean, seriously, man, I mean, when you want us, I mean. I mean, because in this document, they talk about BF2, they talk about BF1. They're all connected. It's not like the A game. I mean, the A game, I mean, no one knows what that is. You know, no one, I mean, of course, you know, younger people who play it, they don't know, but I feel that if Battlefront, the, the, this game was completed, I don't think it would have been I really think it would have uh, been a trilogy, and I really think that even the first game, the first Battlefront game, would really be on Steam. I really think the first game is, that is, you know, obviously it's not as good as, you know, 2005, everybody likes that game, but still, you know, Battlefront 2004, it's still good. So, these are the maps, I guess, that were supposed to be in the game. But you have Cloud City. I mean, I, I, mean, I guess they got rid of Renvar. I mean, maybe Renvar is supposed to be in there. Renvar is kind of one of my favorite maps. I mean, all the Battlefront, I guess, they just realized. But still, look at all this content. And you have Cano Pneumonia, which was a good. You have Dantooine. You have Tatooine. You have Yavin 4, Death Star 2. 
um, on the Pier of Shipyard. I guess these are just maps that were in the aid or, or connection feed or whatever. Nothing of, um, I guess this is what it looked like. I mean, seriously, the map that the current Battlefront 2 mod that we have for Death Star 2 is only Empire's throne room, but I think we should get something better than that. I mean, and I don't know what Yavin 4 would have. I mean, yeah, I mean, this game was, I mean, this game looks pretty good. Ooh, is that an energy weapon? And the Activision must have took this when they were doing, uh, doing advanced warfare. I'm just kidding. I wasn't through. But, like I said, this is just a overview video. Um, thanks to, I have it on my uh, phone because I was, I'm watching it right now. I was watching it. Um, I was watching actually my video. Um, his his name is the one Sith of Asgar, and he posted this the the website. Of course, you know he did the Xena and everything. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's not EA stuff where and 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 just to clarify, people. Battlefront was based off of Battlefield, but not the new Battlefield, the old one. The new Battlefield is not the same thing. I mean, I never played Battlefield 1942, but Battlefield 1942, I'm going to look that up really quick. I love, um, I mean, Battlefield 1942, I mean, that was when video games were say that you know that was my era you know it's not about you know with Battlefront you need strategy obviously you know it's you know in this game Battlefront 3 is kind of the same way you capture command posts I mean Battlefront 2017 isn't the same you know so Battlefront 1942 you know it's you know, I mean, it will show when it came out. It came out in 2002. But that was the old EA Games logo. That was when EA was, was a good company. You know, not like now. You know, it was a first-person shooter game. You know, all this stuff. And it was, and it, you know, had a, a expansion pack. But expansion pack, that's it. You know, it's no top content. That's the thing. There's no, oh, where's the season pass? Usually with a lot of older games, either there was either an expansion pack or they added, um, you know, they added a DLC. But, I mean, I mean maybe Jet Trooper was added. I really don't know. Uh, I mean, maybe, I mean, I think they added, I mean, did, did they add the Jet Trooper? Or maybe maybe they would add him later. But Royal Guard, now I'm going to give you an interesting fact about this. Royal Guard was originally in Battlefront 2, 2005. Um, Wookiee's all there, Magnet Guard is all there. Um, apparently, melee weapons and everything. You know, I mean... Hopefully, uh, El Fabrizio's um, Battlefront 3 Legacy is not deleted and everything. Who knows? I don't really know. But we got heroes versus villains. I mean, from the trailers I've seen of this game, I mean, is I mean, it's still amazing. I mean, that's kind of you know, every day I play Battlefront, obviously, or Battlefront 2. I like playing. You know, just I like doing bombing runs and everything. And I actually have on my computer this little thing. I have Elite Squadron. And I'm probably going to stream that. I mean, these are all the games on my PC. The only reason I have the Epic Games Store is not because, you know, of Epic Games. It's just because I'm a big fan of Burnout. That's another game that, you know, we got a crappy remake of. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. I like um, Burnout Paradise, but still. So you've got the vehicles, ATRT, you know, everything. But, I mean, I'll just say it out. I mean, I'll just put it out there and say, um, you know, Uh, anyway, just the I think the limited amount of Star Fighters, I mean, come on, man. I mean, that, I mean, it was supposed to be good. What do you expect? I mean, that's ATX, ATR, XT. See, there's the vehicles, I guess, that were made in the per, current build before it's destroyed or anything. So you've still got the heavy troopers, you know, the battle droids, uh, rebel alliance. Of course, you got the black, you got the sharp trooper with uh, the mines and everything. I mean, maybe they could have, uh, they could have done something, but you know, who knows, you know. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I know people that like um, mercenaries. That mercenaries game. I mean, maybe. I mean, that's developed for Lucas Arts. So you've got just the regular battle droids, which I've, you know, never really understood um, why um, they have that supers over the classic B ones. You've got. Uh, these rebels now these actually are used as part of the battlefront 2 um roof sides mod and of course you got the mole mighty stormtrooper you know just going through this and everything i mean it's a good insight of everything but you know the element phase you know haze supposed to be pretty good um, you know, that was good, you know, and I just like that, like that, you know, I'm highlighting right here, one battlefront, total control, I'm just going to see how long this is recording for, so that's, you know, of course, 2006, but, you know, Game of the scale, I mean, what do you expect? They're just going to release it every year and year and year. In 2000, Battlefront 2004 came out, a year, or um, Battlefront 2005 then came out. It was actually rushed and everything. I mean, obviously, they cut a lot of content. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it feels like it was rushed, and it's still fantastic, Battlefront 3. Still, I mean, all the stuff that they were missing and everything. I mean, it's still a fun game. I do think Battlefront 2005 is, or 2004 is a little better. I mean, I mean, I, I like the idea of this. So, this is fun. I made a deal with Free Radical to, um, Battlefront 3, plan was to have yearly installments, 2007 was going to be made at Battlefront 2008, was made at Battlefront 4, 5, and 6, which, come on, I mean, I feel Battlefront 3 is good, I mean, what else can you expand on? <laughs> I mean, I, okay, I mean, eventually something's going to, eventually it's going to get dull, I'm just going to say that, I mean, I mean, I just feel that that's the ultimate of, of Battlefront, is the first game, there's no space battles, just ground combat, but it was fun. And two, it was different. You know, you could um, play and, uh, you know, like, go in space, you know, destroy ships from the inside, and then Battlefront 3, I feel, is the ultimate. You know, that's kind of the thing where everything came together. It's almost like the um, Keyboard 7 Keys Part 2. You probably don't know that. It's just 
It's the, or even for all you metalheads or fans that like Judas Priest, it's um, it's their stained class moment. Oh no, not stained class moment. Sin after sin moment, I guess. I don't know. That's not, you know, whatever it is. Keeper of Seven Keys is Halloween's third album. That is um, amazing. But, um, you know, basically, um, I didn't play Haze. I don't really, I mean, I'm not really into that. But, you know, when you're looking forward to something and, you know, found it so fun and you can't play it on your PS4, you can't play that game. And for you to be able to, you know, now have it on PC, which I do, I mean, I really kind of remember playing it on a controller. And when I played PS uh, Battlefield 2 on a PS2, my PS2, and my cousin had it. No, it was not my, uh, it was mine. And I got it, it, it froze in the middle of a match. So I don't know what it was. And Battlefront 1, the first Battlefront, is usually never available, I guess, because... That was the best selling, and I guess people, you know, they just don't, don't just don't think about it. But like Battlefront Four, so I guess it was the basis of by looking at this the beginning of the end, two thousand eight. You know, I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't remember what I was doing back then. You know, I remember I got Battlefront Three when I was. I mean, Battlefront 2 when I was about, I forgot what it was. Then, of course, you have these games. I know. I know. Sorry. My mom's talking to me. Um, so, basically, this one is first and all Call of Duty-based stuff. Then, of course, you have this stuff. So basically, it confirmed the existence of it after, you know, originally planned to, I guess, in 2000, whatever it was. Everything was canceled. You know, Disney up being a Disney fan, I just don't think they went downhill with everything. You know, I just read about the Titan mode or the capital, capital ship supremacy. I mean, I don't like the idea of that, you know. If I play a Battlefront game, I want to be able to control everything. I don't want it to be restricted. It's not what I grew up with playing. I grew up with doing what I felt like or, you know, play it the way I wanted to. And now, so basically, and I'm telling you this, these are all the points that you get. Destroying frigates, frigate destruction. You know, I don't know if that ion cannon is like even, and of course you've got the story campaign and everything. Everything. But... Cantonomia, Act 3, Kashyyyk. Um, you've got Yavin 4, but I don't know if it's Yavin Arena. Um, you've got Kashyyyk. You know, it's crazy. But I will say this. This is much better than the Battlefront, new Battlefront 2 EA campaign that I didn't feel like playing or didn't feel like um, having anything to do. But basically, the command post um, model, obviously, no. Um, and I am also excited to play Halo for the first time. Halo's kind of that classic. So this is Conquest. It centers on capturing and controlling of control points. You know, pretty much that's what it was based off of. And, you know, then as, you know, it progresses to this, pretty much what 
was a was supposed to be a clone of this became a clone of um of pretty much the older battlefield games i mean jackson never played before but you know i know i know people who have played battlefield and everything i don't know if it has the same i mean it still has conquest obviously but oh So just objectives, no command post mod or anything, command capture points. So pretty much what Battlefront evolved in was this stuff. It's not EA and Dice. I mean, obviously, um, I, you know, I really don't, you know, I mean, whatever EA was, you know, I'll say this, back in the day, this company was fun as heck. You, know, you had all the original EA games and every, uh, like the, um, what is it? Original Maddens and you have the Burnouts and everything. You know, it just seemed fun to play with EA. I mean, they just don't care anymore. Let's push as much money as possible. Whether or not we have this all this good stuff, that's not going to make money. No. It's annoying. Stupid, it doesn't make any sense. This is the experience, I guess. So, um, of course, you got space. This is from the conceptual space. But I just like the idea of vertical battlefront, which is, um, let me get an image of it. So basically, um, basically, this is an image on my Gito page. This is on the GOG website, good old games. This is Coruscant. This is the basic map that you have. It's just fighting on the ground. And I like the idea that um, we're trying to implement here, which, I mean, I don't know how it would play out. I mean, probably would play it. You know, it's just, I just get into this stuff again and because for some reason, I just, I just find this game to be fun. I don't, you know, I'm not saying, oh, no, you can't play this. You can't play this. I never, I never even said that. And I guess apparently this was, was going to be published for all these platforms, of course, I mean, I already knew about the PC, PS3, and Xbox 360, and I guess the PSP, but I didn't know about the PS2 or the Nintendo Wii, because the DS and the PSP version was released as Elite Squadron. But this is the vertical battlefront. So basically, you know, you could have done all that stuff, but, you know, I guess it was supposed to be released, you know, in 2008. You know, pointing to this, um, it... Was supposed to, I guess, be released more. And of course, you've got melee and everything. Deadly new weapons. I have no idea why. Apparently, this is a concept art that's going to be right now. Look at that. Sorry, Lord. Oh, that vertical battlefront. But the iron cannon is still there. They've got all that stuff.
this is a concept of you know that part and you've got everything you know i mean it was an ambiguous project i mean when you expect this is a vertical battle front oh my god that looks so good you know um but you know we have a couple of stuff in the battlefront 3 legacy map but this is just stuff that i thought i would show You know, this is the computer system requirements. Obviously, Windows XP and Vista because it was 2008. Now, I don't know how, I mean, I really don't know how much the price would be, but I guess they didn't have a price by then. Um, and I'll say this, if EA had this kind of, um, you know, you know, if EA had a chance for this website, they probably A would shut it down because it, they're part of the Star Wars IP. It probably would go, oh no, this is not good, we gotta delete it. First time, one battlefront. Best quote. I mean, there's no, I mean, really, no limit what you could do. And that just makes it fun for me. So basically, this is Battlefront 4, but, you know, I mean, I don't want them to like, you know, if they were to do it, I didn't want them to go, you know, you know, push it to the limits. I mean, obviously, a third game is good. I don't know if it will. I mean, I think it changed. I think it was good for the better. Because Battlefront that we have now, Battlefront 2, is still good. So, for some reason, I guess, Lucia, I don't know if that was included in Battlefront. Was that included in Battlefront 3? On that. But I will link this um, website in the description as soon as I get this video uploaded. See you guys later. Peace out.